Hello friends. Welcome back to another video of Anesthesia Tech. Today, we're going to discuss various difficult intubation factors and their management. Before going to the video, if you're new to my channel, subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon for regular notifications. Let's get on to the video. First, we're going to see how to intubate a short neck patient. Usually, we'll perform intubation in the sniffing position. The sniffing position is nothing but a combination of flexion of the neck and extension of the head. The reason for this position is to make intubation easier. While in this position our oral pharyngeal axis, laryngeal axis, and oral axis come in a straight line. This makes the intubation procedure easier. But, in short neck patients' cases, we can't able to do this sniffing position because they have a short necks. So, it cannot be flexed. For this case, we have to prepare an intubation trolley with a video laryngoscope and fiber optic scope. Next, coming to the position, as we're unable to keep the patient in a sniffing position, we have to use readily with another position named ramp position. As the name suggests, it looks like a ramp. In this position, we have to elevate the shoulder by keeping towels or pillows. Sometimes we can also make some table adjustments, such as head up. By doing all this, we can get a somewhat clear vision of glottis. Okay friends, that's all about today. Hope you like this video. If you like this video, please click the like button. These likes can motivate me to do more videos. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.